Hello, it's got a ukulele review day and I'm rolling out the big guns because today it's baritone ukulele time. Yes, today it's baritone ukulele time. Uh, a welcome return for a baritone. I don't feature enough of them, uh, not through want of trying. Um, as always, this is the summary video review. The full linked review is always below the video. Do check that out. There's a lot more information there. Thanks very much to my patrons, and why not consider subscribing to the God Ukulele channel? Okay, Baritone. As I say, this is a brand I featured once before. It's a Chinese brand uh, distributed in the UK by Red Chili Audio. Thanks to them for the loan of this instrument for the review. So you'll find these in quite a few UK stores. The brand is called... Isuzi, Isuzi, that's two Zs in there, and this is their E-A-K-B baritone ukulele. And it's an attractive looking instrument, isn't it? Um, this is the acoustic version, they also do one with a pickup in it, but this is the straight up E-A-K-B. Um, without getting ahead of myself, because I can't find much wrong with this instrument, but I do have one gripe, and that E-A-K stands for East Asian Koa because this is made of all laminate wood, um, but it isn't koa, it, it, it's acacia. All koa is acacia, acacia is koa, um, but you only get to call that acacia koa if it's grown in Hawaii. So it isn't East Asian koa, there's no such thing as East Asian koa, it's East Asian acacia, so it should be the E-A-A-B. Um, minor gripe, doesn't change the way the thing plays, but it does annoy me, um, because using the word koa is suggesting you're getting something more than you are anyway. Laminate instrument, two pieces on the top, two pieces on the sides, two pieces on the back. Um, it's, it's pretty, it's not the stripiest, um, flamingest uh, acacia I've ever seen. Some of it gets really, really attractive, but it, it's hardly ugly, is it? Uh, nicely book matched. Um, yeah, it's all right. Uh, finishing an open pour satin, which is done really well. Can't find any flaws with it. Decoration wise, that is maple uh, rather than plastic edge binding, which is nice to see. And some abalone around the edge in the purfling and around the sound hole. I don't really normally go in for glitz, but um, abalone with acacia, I see, I've seen on quite a few instruments and I think it works quite well. Um, yeah, that's all right. They don't specify the wood in the bridge. That's a tie bar style screwed in place with a straight topped bone saddle. Could be walnut, could be stained to dark, but you know what? It's really tidy and neat. It's nicely done. Sorry about the shadows in here, really gloomy day. Um, yeah, that's really neat and tidy. And it's neat and tidy inside too. You'll see the pictures on the website. It's cross braced because it's a big body. Notched linings, the braces are pretty thin and I can't find any mess at all. And that soundboard top is also really nice and thin. Uh, you know, things are looking positive here. Um, I just don't like the fact they call it koa. It's not koa. Uh, the neck is made of mahogany. It's in three pieces. The joints are really well hidden, but there's one down here and there's one at the headstock. Uh, what I really particularly like about it is it's got a really flat profile, um, which is... Um, sorry, I'm just bringing up the website because I know I'm going to forget what the width is at the nut. Uh, but it's a flat profile, so it, quite often for a Chinese-made instrument, the uh, the necks can be like broom handles uh, on the back, um, which this isn't. It's kind of flat, uh, shallow, uh, and I find that makes things really comfortable. I like that. Um, the nut width is 37 mil uh, with 30 mil from G2A, so that's roomy too. Uh, this is all looking pretty decent, really. I've, yeah, I've just found that measurement. Sorry about that. Uh, that's looking all right. Uh, the same dark wood fingerboard that isn't specified. I mean, it's so black it could be ebony. Um, I don't think it is ebony when you see the price. I think it's stained. Um, and it's black bound down the edges as well, which hides the frets, of which you get 18 and 14 to the body. Uh, so they're really nicely dressed, no sharp edges whatsoever. Position markers facing out in the usual places, uh, 5, 7, 10 and 12, and you also get side dots. Nice. Beyond that bone nut, the headstock, you know, I, I'd say I like plain headstocks and it is plain. Um, I think this one's a little bit too plain. That Asuzu logo is laser etched in. What a 
what I first thought was this is just an extension of the mahogany, but I think it's actually faced with a very thin veer, veneer of acacia. When you've got an acacia body that's all nice and stripy like that, wouldn't you put stripy stuff on here too? It kind of looks really plain compared to the rest of the instrument. That's a minor gripe, I guess. Um, tuners are sealed black gears. I'll come on to those a little bit more when we get into playing it because uh, I do have a comment to make on them. And you get a coil of strings and a functional but decent enough quality branded padded gig bag. Street price about £150. Um, which is not the cheapest baritone out there but it's still cheap for a ukulele. Um, and especially, certainly for one that is pretty, looks like this, with some appointments and decoration, 150 quid, it's kind of, you know, if you're baritone curious, uh, it's probably money that you'd be prepared to spend. Okay, let's get into it. It's made really well. It's nice and light. It's for a baritone. Uh, it's balanced. I can't find any build issues with it. Um, super resonant, um, and that comes through in the volume, which is absolutely superb. What really threw me with it was a uh, baritone, so I tuned it up to D, G, B, E. Strings really, really, really floppy. Hang on, that can't be right, so did a bit of checking. Actually, these come shipped with strings suitable for GCEA tuning. High GCEA, re-entrant G. That's gone out of tune. Uh, I will tune it before we play it. Um, and that really threw me. Uh, because I've never, I don't, uh, there's no law against tuning a baritone like that if you've got the right strings for the purpose. Uh, but I've never seen one out of the box that comes that way. And if I'm honest, I think it kind of defeats the point of what a baritone's about. So I found it odd to review this one and play it because it's like playing a big tenor. So it doesn't feel like a baritone, it doesn't sound like a baritone. Uh, it could sound like a baritone. Just put DGBE strings on it. Um, and then you're there. Uh, but I just found it odd that their choice is to ship it out like this. Maybe they're th saying, well, it's because beginners struggle to transpose. But if you have a look in the written review, there's a link there to an article I wrote on that very point. It's not hard. These strings really are, because they're long, they're really, really taking ages to settle. But as always in my videos now, I'm boring you by doing strobe tuning to ensure that people... So, it has a really nice voice. It's amazingly loud because it's got that big body. The projection is superb, absolutely. Nice sustain, too. It doesn't sound like a baritone because it's tuned in C. Um, sound of it. Um, strummed, it's got a bit of that sort of echo echoiness that comes laminate boxiness. Uh, not, I've, I've heard much, much worse. It's not stellar. Um, God, these strings really are going out. But where I think it really sort of shines, like a lot of baritones do, is played finger-picked. Because you've got that pretty tone um not out of the park uh, tone not out of the park looks either although still very pretty and still very good to play really comfortable neck um gets a very good score because it's a good instrument it's it really is 150 quid don't call it koa it's not koa uh, one thing i will say is in i, I said i'd mention those tuners 
uh, because I tuned it to DGBA, I had to do quite a lot more winding to get it up to C tuning. Um, they're pretty awful, actually, the tuners. They've got that sort of odd tension thing. They're all different tensions and at different points on the turning. They get tight and then they go loose. Um, I'd want to swap those out. They're not great tuners. Um, so that is only one gripe. The naming convention is a gripe. Nothing else bothers me about it. Uh, the Isuzu E A K B baritone. I think this is this definitely recommended. I think you really should have a look out for this one because you know if you're just getting into baritone, there's not a lot wrong here for not a lot of money. Uh, I think it's a bit of a cracker. Um, there we are. Back next week. And sorry, this one's been a bit late. Uh, very busy weekend, but um, that's my problem, not yours. See you soon. Bye bye.